Okay guys, today we are covering a tutorial on how to work the Super Meat Boy editor. Okay, so this, you will always start off on tiles. So you can click the place of tile and left you can left click the place of tile and right click to delete one. Okay, so you're gonna make your thing. Wait, no, stop. What are you doing? How do I? No, what are you doing? Stop! No! That's an example of what not to do. What I'm trying to say is, you can't rush the level editor. Look, let me show you an example. I, I, I'm just gonna like to note, you can do this. You can load levels from the game. So that, let's, for example, let's load up 1 5. This is what you'd expect to see from a level. But, there's an option to ha get a warp zone in here somewhere, I think. I guess not, but, like, let's say you, you place, like, two of these by accident in the wrong position. How do I get rid of this? I can't laugh with this! So, hold shift, drag it over, and press the first delete key. Not... Not the right delete key, the left delete key, and then we'll delete it for you. Okay, anyways, you can also load glitch for levels. If you saw the name of them, you're pretty sure you, you'll know how to access them if you saw the name of them. This would be. Um, four bit eight bit meat boy. Actually, yeah, I think you can do it pretty hard. And now we want to load negative six. Of loaded. Why is there bandage girls in the background? Why is there bandage girls in the background? Why is there bandage girls in the background? <laughs> Anyways, you're probably gonna want to know how to. Probably gonna want to know how to um do everything. Cause you've seen people like rotate objects, like and you're like, how do I do that? And like you see diagonals, and you're like, how do I do that? Okay. So to rotate something, it's Control plus Scroll. See, and then for to change the shape of something, it's Shift plus Scroll. You can also change the character right here. So you like brownie or something. You want to play as him. Or maybe Tofu Boy. Tofu 
Yeah, he's pretty easy. Anyways, let's make a level. I'm going to choose the 8 bit palette. And I will guide you through making something like this. You might notice there's a lot less textures. That's because, well, it's yeah. placing an object might be hard, but remember, you can undo it. You want to know something you can undo? Lights. Anyways, we'll talk about lights in part 2, but for now, I'm going to showcase the level art. But anyways... I think you can tell this editor is pretty useful, but I'm going to keep going and see what I can do with it. Interesting, what are these tiles? You may ask. And the answer to that is I don't know. Or do I? The, those are the tiles for the hospital, and these are the tiles for the salt factory. I'm going to use this right here, just so I can So by the way, in this video we won't be showcasing other layers, but we will at some point. Well, you know what, never mind, I'll give a basic rundown of layer 6. Layer 6 can be used to create backgrounds. Back tile, I guess. I mean, this is a really bad. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll have to give an in-depth explanation of those. Three, four, and five are the ones that the character can interact on. Five is behind this. Three is in front of Meat Boy. Six is back tile. You gotta drill that. You may also rotate objects using space and rotate instead of control, as that size is up and down. 
This does the same thing. But backwards. It literally does the same thing, but backwards. Oh, sorry, wrong layer. This is what I taught you before. I'm probably gonna discontinue this series, so it's gonna be funny. Okay. At least like to showcase the level editor, so we all know how it works. And just to mention, in case you ever have to go and do something, just anything, you can save the level. Bobo. Anyways, now when we go something like one dash one, dash one we go, we can put. Go, and we'll be back here. Well, I should probably explain lights before I go. In property section of lights, you can change shape of the light. So see, I'm making this light like set. Say. I think this double jump would be more controllable. <laughs> and the light will affect. Also, animated props like let's say oh, I, I do have to admit there's not much in here and the dang it you can't get rid of lights. I'm sorry. Wait, I lied. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I, I lied. You can get rid of lights. Oh my god. Why does it do that? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. You can also put these guys. No. He. And now that you're possibly done with your level, because your level might take a while, I have no idea how long it take. Like, genuinely, who knows? But once you're done with the end of your level, you can play Spanish Girl. You don't want her to be too big though. About meeple size. Just gonna place her down. Should be careful you desire. 
Ik afval. Yet. I'm always in hitting my hip. After you beat your level, you can upload it to your name. A bandage girl in the wrong way. Whatever. Be damaged, after you reach the damage girl, you can give your level a name. I'll just name mine. Boy, fine. Level fake upload. Anyways, I'll just name mine Bobo. Bobo. And that is the level. That is a tutorial. Part one. I hope I hope I can tell you part two. Because I genuinely probably won't finish it.